my channel. We're going to record our video today, our Friday fun video, in a couple segments because it's a little different. The first segment is going to be mostly Ben doing a product review. He, as you know, wanted a special import monster that's only available in Japan. He found an importer in um, was Arizona. It, yeah, but was it Phoenix or? I believe it was Desert Drinks. I think there's around Phoenix. Scottsdale. Yeah, somewhere within that ballpark. Anyway, it was in Arizona. And that's the wheelchair banging around if you hear something. Oh, wow. Uh, anyway, it came. It is his Christmas present because one of his Christmas presents because $22 for one little drink isn't realistic. But he wanted it for a Christmas present, so he got it. And um, I'm going to turn this segment of the video over to him. But anyway, as you can probably tell, on the right is my M3. On the left is a Mountain Dew for a size comparison. You can tell it is small, but they don't just put this M on anything. That M is proof you've got a genuine monster product. Oh, what's this? You can't read that? Oh, of course you can't. It's in Japanese. That's because it's Japanese import. Or a gato. So yeah, M3, extra strength. And in case you're wondering, they still got the same social video links on there and stuff like that. You've seen what the bottle looks like. You've seen the color it actually causes everything to become. It's a tiny little bottle. It's tiny. You've seen it in comparison to a 12 ounce can. I am about to pop it open. So for a few moments, you might actually see no picture because I'm going to do this now. Yeah, while you're getting a close up look at Ben's pants, he's opening it to give it a try. He's been dying to try this forever. The cap came off. No, oh, part of it's still attached to the rim, but He's the rim's trouble broken. With the there rim. we go. He's a dork. Mm. Now let's take that rim off because it's just going to get him away. Pick up the and camera. Ooh, he's drinking it, gross. Don't drink it all at once. Talk. Guys. Guys. What? We're listening. We have a winner. Good? Yeah, it actually is. What does it taste like? It's basically a much stronger monster flavor than normal. Though, to be fair, it's because M3 was marketed in America for a brief period of time, back when energy shots were the craze. So it's like a um, concentrated monster? Yeah. Was it worth that much money? I would make mom buy it again if if I could. He can, trust me. But was it a fun thing to try? Yeah. Show him how much of it you drink. You gonna finish it? I plan to finish this. This is good. Are you gonna keep the bottle or toss it? I might keep the I might keep the bottle unless unless we get another one because seriously that rim on the lid ended up breaking in a weird and funny way. Yeah, we're not going to get another one. Yeah. So, so this works so fast for five or ten dollars and you pay for them yourself, right? Yeah. If regular monster is something you like and you were given this monster or whatever it is. M3. M3. A rating from one being horrible to ten being as good as a regular monster. I'd give it the best rating I could possibly give it, which is infinity plus a million. So 10 then. Yeah. You know what I did there? I pulled a mom. Okay. Well, I think that's it for this segment of the video, don't you, Ben? Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this thing, but when we come back, what oh, you're going to see to is about. more, is more from the main feature presentation. 
Okay, see you in a little bit. It'll just be a second for you, but we'll talk to you in a few. Bye-bye. Later. Go back again. I know, it's only been a second for you, but it's been a little bit for us. We went to the pharmacy and the Kroger's and... I think that's about it, wasn't it? Yeah. That was enough. I'm tired. It's been a long day. I took Mom to her doctor's appointment in Marysville. And they couldn't... Of course, the x-ray machine was down. So now I've got to take her to... Right. Grady to get a chest x-ray done for. I bet that sounds better, don't you? Uh-oh, beheaded. Romeo's oh. Pizza. Yep. Now they're internet famous. We gotta try them someday. I think they're pretty pricey, is why we haven't tried them yet. Yeah, they are pricey. Their larges are like 12, 15 bucks. Probably depends on what you get on them. That's for a one topping. We if tried you want more that. More than one topping, it gets 25 or up. We tried that now, Chris. It doesn't go up $10 for two toppings. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm thinking uh, more than three toppings, not one. We tried things. the one there in town where Marcos used to be. What's in there now, Ben? Massey's. Massey's. That's pretty good pizza. I really like the cheese they use. Some tasty, tasty cheese, don't they? Yeah. Oh, Their pepperoni is a total godsend. Marcos had really good pizza, too, until they let it go to hell. The people who had this franchise did not run it right. Yeah. When they first opened and they were following all the rules and using the right products, it was delicious. But they did so poorly with it that they lost the franchise. So that should tell you. Current shame, really. Yeah. But anyway, so I spent half the day in Marysville and just got back. Are our prescriptions still back there? Yeah. Okay. Just got back and got our prescriptions picked up and everything. And now I'm going home to cook dinner. Whoa. Not really that I'm making that much. Our main dish shall be sandwiches because I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired and everybody's hungry, so sandwiches. Ben can have a turkey sandwich. That's right. Uh, I'm on my own. And I don't need to worry I'm because I've just hyped myself up on this. You didn't have smoked ham, did you? Yeah, I couldn't find the smoked turkey, so I settled for the smoked ham. Where was the smoked ham? I moved it towards East Morris Lax, that's but it was in the uh, meat crisper. Very. I don't even remember getting it. I hope it was still good. It was good, still. Okay. I can only find the oven roasted turkey and the other stuff. Maybe mom finished ah! We're talking about turkey. We bought lunch meat. I've already lost track of it. I give up. I have a couple sandwiches and I'm done with lunch meat. Um, if you get a bad pancreas, that's one of the first things they take away from you is lunch meat. And when you go against what you're allowed to have, you can feel it in your body. So you don't do it a lot. Hey, if you haven't been noticing a few moments where the camera appeared to go dark, it's spoopy month, okay? Don't freak out. There's nothing wrong here. What's or wrong is the there? He I'm just putting my hand in front of it occasionally in order to make it look like it's glitching out. Please don't do that. That really makes you dizzy and stuff when you're watching a video. Not to mention, it's a flashing light warning looking for a place to have it. So, be yeah. you. Be you indeed. Be thankful there's no smell evasion. Stink would say that stinks. Yeah. Well, anyway, so we're on our way home to have dinner. And then I bet I park my butt on my bed. Just look around online and stuff and don't do anything else tonight because I have blood. Like the family spider pig? Like the family. Just to make Kissy first ask questions, I had us watching the road for a couple seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. What else has been going on? We're thinking about going to a yard sale tomorrow, aren't we? If they're open, yeah. We saw the signs for one over at Hayes Colony, or on that same road. 
not necessarily a base colony. And so we're thinking about going by tomorrow just to see if they're open. We didn't do a lot of yard sailing this summer thanks to COVID, so we're kind of desperate for more. Ready to finish out the season. We would definitely be wearing a wooden wing. Chris? What? We'd definitely be wearing our masks, wouldn't we? Yes. Okay. Focus on Chris. Chris, tell about decorating your pumpkin. I decorated my pumpkin I got from the drop box, I believe, Tuesday today. How? What? Tell. It's a surprise to mom, but I will oh. say it's an item from one of her favorite video games I painted on there. Well, She'll know what it is on Monday, and you guys will too. We'll show it in our video. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. What is today's day? The ninth? The ninth, yeah. If we don't go to Miller's this weekend, we should go next weekend. I don't know which. We should. Or, if we do it late enough, 4.30 through close when Lanterns does theirs. We drove by there today. And that's their Tuesday through Thursday hours. But if Lanterns is actually it's going Friday. to do on it, wouldn't Leonard the Warrior lock you up faster than far Ben's lost his tiny little mind. How can I lose something I didn't have to start with? I saw with? the cutest pumpkin balloon. It was uh, made up for Dia de los Muertos and it had the flowers around its eyes and everything, but it was still a jack-o'-lantern. Usually I get kind of ticked off when they cross Halloween and Dia de los Muertos because it's two separate things, you know? But mm -hmm. this time I got a pass because it was so cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I was like, that's a very jelly pumpkin. It was and pretty jelly. And Mom saw the mask I made for that day, on yeah. that day, when I was cleaning out one thing. Yes, I did. He had it on upside down at first, and it made him look like a hoot owl. Yeah. It was pretty funny. It's supposed to go diamond thing on your nose, not upside down hard on your nose. Oh! <laughs> that looked like your little beak. Yeah. So. Woo! Me! I was going to hard time part of a flower, like a couple flower petals. Oh, Dang, flowers. seven minutes, 30 seconds and counting. Yeah, yes. All this over what? Nothing? No, we're having fun just talking. Someday I plan no. on dying. Yeah. You can't make me live forever. I don't want to. And you'll be looking at these videos going, oh, do you remember that time we did this with mom? And Ben's going to be saying, oh, why did I rush her? I wish I'd let her talk longer. That's going to happen. I'm telling you now. <laughs> As I'm prodding her with an immortality serum. I'd refuse to live forever, thank you very much. Well, oh, speaking of prodded, I had to have blood taken today, and the girl rolled my vein and I felt it go. Oh, oh my stomach just kind of rolled over. It was gross. Get up. No more. It was gruesome. Mm -hmm. So, I'm glad that's done. Now Chris and Grandma have to go to Grady and get their tests done. That'll be fun. So you guys want to... <laughs> I told Mom, you drive. You and Chris go without me. Let me know how it went. They laughed at me. So, dumb question. What? You guys want to add on some of your thoughts about M3? Which we reviewed in our earlier portion of the review. What he's trying to say is, if you've had it or are thinking about having it or anything at all, please leave a comment. He would be really interested to read it or hear it. And if you try it, do not <laughs> sniff it first. Oh. Mm. Don't smell it. Uh-uh. No, you let me smell it. Whoa. It is not pleasant. It almost smells like some kind of fuel. Like like a gassy, kerosene -y. How do you know what that smells like? Have you huffed fuel before? I'm a grown ass woman. Of course I've smelled fuel before. It smells like diesel to me. Bad diesel. It smells like fuel. Casey for a previous monster scent over top of it. Real strong. Yeah, Casey for a previously said something else though. And it also has a salty smell to it too. It's just a weird smell. I don't know how else to describe it. 
I wouldn't have put it in my mouth. But he said it just tasted like extra strong monster, didn't you? Yep. It tastes just like the label said it would. Now you know. Ah, car. Okay, I'm sure we've gone over time, so I better wrap this video up. Um, come along Monday. Now let's hope we have a better weekend this weekend than we did last weekend. Because if I get robbed again, I'm going to be hot. It will not go well. And, uh... I guess that's about it. I want to have a good weekend this weekend and put our bad weekend behind us. Like the so come back on Monday and find out what we did, right, man? But the body's at the floor. Sorry, I'm just having a moment. He's having, he always is having moments. So come back on Monday. Let us know how you did. You can always leave a comment. You know I'd be interested to hear. I'm Carol. I would love to hear from you. So Everyone. Do that or contact me on Facebook. And by the way, people who watch my video and then just leave sex chat info in the comment section, stop sucking. Really, you suck. Stop it. And we'll talk to you Monday. Have a safe weekend. Bye-bye.